three, two, one. Mm. Oh my God, that's cold. Wow. Welcome back to You Bet Your Radio podcast. Coldest podcast in all the Midwest presented by fairwaymeatmarket.com. I'm Miles, you betcha guy here with Ryan, the t-shirt guy. We have a, I'm guessing this is going to be a wild show. The we energy's don't know actually pretty good in here. We kind of got a case of the fuckets. I can just feel that. <laughs> yeah. And it's only, Which t- I like. it's Tuesday and we already got a case of the fuckets. So I really like that energy. But before we continue the energy, we got to talk to you guys about fairwaymeatmarket.com, baby. It's all about the meat. <laughs> Um, guys, if you're looking to have a little BBQ in Ooh. the backyard uh, to kind of wrap up summer here, Labor Day is coming up. Um, why don't you uh, head to fairwaymeatmarket.com? I don't Tyler, what was that? Is I got this memorized, Tyler. Heartland bundle. I know, I got this memorized. Okay, Heartland sure. bundle, baby. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> he's yeah. Hey. I got to check off on my Yeah, pieces. he's got a case of the fuckets. Jesus. Uh, anyways, <laughs> now this is going to be a Jordan flu game ad read by me here. Um, Labor Day barbecue. Uh, you need some meat for that. So go to fairwaymeatmarket.com. Grab the Heartland bundle. Use code UBETCHA, Y-O-U-B-E-T-C-H-A, for 60 bucks off plus free shipping. They have all sorts of meats. I believe they have some steak in that bundle. They got some pork chops in that bundle. They also got a side dish for you. So mm. head to fairwaymeatmarket.com. Get yourself some meat. Be the fun guy on Labor Day to wrap up the summer. Be the meat. Be, be, be t- t- the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Go to fairwaymeatmarket.com. All right. Wow, we're back. We're back in a big, big way. Uh, yeah, technically, this is our Wednesday because we're going to all be out of the office on Friday, that's, right? That's true. Yeah. Um, I'm not. But, I think that's why we got a case of the fuckets. Um, but bachelor parties this weekend. Um, Tyler, you're having your bachelor party. Correct. Tyler is getting married, uh-huh. having a bachelor. Well, we don't know if he's getting married. He's just having a bachelor party. Yeah, I'm engaged. We don't know if it'll ever go uh, through. He invited me and I declined. Yeah, what right. a big move by mm-hmm. me. You're not doing it. You're just sitting at home this week. Yes. Yeah, so. Absolute power move yeah. by me to well, let him know who's the real boss around It was here. more of a formality to invite you anyway, so... Yeah, I did. Well, Tyler. Con- yeah, I did uh, hold your paycheck in front of you and say, "Invite me to your party." <laughs> Miles came to my bachelor party, so yeah. yeah. Well, Ryan, you're coming to mine, so no. Actually, the reason why <laughs> I cannot be at your bachelor party is I have a more important bachelor party uh, to go to. Uh, <laughs> so we actually have dueling bachelor parties uh-huh. on the same weekend, different bachelor parties. Um, I'm going to be trying to send you guys stuff to show you how much more fun our bachelor party is. Versus yours. We'll like we'll FaceTime you and we can like join bachelor parties. Yes. Yeah, maybe we'll just play. hold up a FaceTime the whole time. Yes. Maybe get me on like a, a little chair with taped an iPad to it. Yeah. We'll play a tippy cup against each other. We'll throw the phones up. I, hey, even if I'm on the phone, I'll still be Jared. I saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jared, you walked your race yourself right into that one. I know. It's like 2021 weekend at Bernie's. Miles in a FaceTime. Yes. But I won't be dead. Well, right. hopefully not. Have you seen Weekend at Bernie's? <laughs> you know, it's been a while. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while, that's, Tyler. That's classic. Uh, hey, you see this movie? You know, I think <laughs> I may have saw part of it <laughs> back in 2008. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was on, my mom wouldn't DVR it. Or it's so like, I don't. That's like a movie that's on FX twice All a week. the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a watch it once. It's movie. not on all the time. It's on a lot. Really? What yeah. channels are you watching? What cable do you have? Yeah. Um, Hulu, well, shit. Hulu Live, not to brag. Hulu. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> Didn't know. I'm, I guess I'm paying you too much. I split it with my roommates, <laughs> aka my fiance. Oh, not to oh, brag. So you're getting married. Oh, I uh, just, it's. Yeah. Nah, it's been nice for maybe. him to let us know that. Do you have a kid also? <laughs> I do. Okay. Yep. I you need to work yourself. Do you know the proper order to things or you got that? Back? <laughs> I just, like, as you know, who I determined like, that you couldn't just hold out. 
I just make it up as I go. Well, that's uh, the thing, though. Who determined proper order? Yeah, I, I, Tyler doesn't care. Tyler didn't learn that. that. They didn't teach that in phrasey. It's like Michael Scott. I just sometimes I start a sentence and then I just figure out where it's going. Sometimes by the end. you start a session and you don't know what's going to happen at the end. Right, and I then I just make it up as I go. Yeah, yeah. I understandable. See, I see that, Tyler. Um, bachelor parties, though. I got the old uh, the coffin cooler. The the big one that we use for the how yeah. to ready to go. Nice. If you're not going to a bachelor party with a big cooler like that, it's infuriating to have a smaller cooler that you have to keep filling up. Yeah, we gotta get one of them. Pour all the beers I'm in not- there. Pour all the ice. Then the only thing you gotta do is get more ice for the yeah. whole weekend. And that's all you gotta do. Hey, don't forget to smash your ice on the ground though. You yeah, did oh, forget yeah. that. Yeah. Well, video. I did. I did it in real life. We just didn't put oh, it in okay. the video. Right. Yeah, most important step. Yeah, take the ice, drop it on the ground. Good to go. Yeah, except when it breaks open in the wrong wrong place. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a gentle way to do. It. You got to almost just drop it. You can't throw it. You know. Well, what's the fun in it then? You got to you got fu- to gotta find the right level to drop it from too. You got to yeah, do the it. right level to drop ice from is is actually very key. To and if you're if you're not trying to drop ice like uh, like high divers in the Olympics. <laughs> Double backflip aerials. That's that's the system. RKOing ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the top rope. <laughs> look out, look out, look out. Yeah. Ryan's in the corner shadow boxing ice now. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles are just bloody. Uh, uh, you're like here's rocky. our ice for the weekend. Instead of <laughs> slabs of meat, yeah. it's, it's bags of ice. Yes. Uh, cubes of ice. Yeah. More so. Yeah. You're yeah. the one cubing the ice. Correct. It comes in a solid block. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yep. Ryan, the ice cuber guy. That's, Throw that on a that's t-shirt. A good one. Yeah, that's a good Ryan, one, right? the ice man Liddell. <laughs> see if that, uh, mm. <laughs> hey, see if that uh, Instagram handle's available. Ryan, the ice cube maker guy. <laughs> it has to be. I don't know. It's pretty hot demand. I'm going to have to switch over. Uh, that's pretty cool. Cool, demand. yeah. Cold. cold. Ooh, Ooh, ice uh, cold. It's, pretty, it's a pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty frozen freezing demand. cold demand. Yes. Yeah. Icy name. Uh, Ooh, Jared. Wow. What is going to be like the big draw at your bachelor party? Are you going golfing? Are yes. you, but like, what's everyone kind of like looking forward to doing? Uh, golfing and we rented a big boat. I don't know Did anything we? about the boat. All I know is we're going to show up and this thing's going to be the, it's going to be so like a, shitty. a normal fishing boat. 1986 <laughs> pontoon, which I think would be fucking sweet anyway. Yeah. Yeah, and then like you're literally a half inch above the water yeah. the whole time. <laughs> Any bit of ripple yeah. comes on the lake. We're sinking. Yeah, the front end's going down. Um, key, key though, remember a weight distribution. Mm-hmm. So too many people in the front, nosedive. Too many people in the back, better than too many people in the front. Okay, uh, so. I think we're gonna we're gonna probably segregate by weight. Big boys in the back. Oh, okay. I'll be in the back. Yeah, so I'll be in the middle. Good thing I'm not going. Because otherwise you wouldn't get me out of the front and though you'd be trying to make me go. <laughs> yeah, I'm snagging a spot on that pontoon immediately. Yeah, yeah. you're just you're invited on. You don't have to snag a spot. <laughs> well, there's there always any- there's always the guy that has to sit on the cooler. Well, yeah. that's you know what I mean? true. Yeah. Um, that's why you gotta get the one that I got with the butt flap on it. Sure. Yeah. You don't have to get up off of the cooler to still get a beer. Yeah. Um, do you have anyone going to the bachelor party that's like going to be the guy that everyone hates when he goes, hey, man, I want to go skiing. Can you take me skiing? Me. <laughs> um, maybe no. if you're going to do that. No, um, honestly, not. no. The only thing I'm worried about is I've got some we're going golfing and I've got some friends that do not golf. OK, so I don't think there'll be buzz kills about it. Nah, just throw them in the group behind you and then say, I'll see you guys at the cabin when you're done. So I'm bouncing around. Uh, so there's three that's teams the of four. It. And I, then me as a floater. So I'm going to play a few holes with the first team, a few holes with the oh second team. That's the way to do Politician it. Tyler. Wow. Hey, I <laughs> He's got to shake hands and kiss babies with every single group. Yeah. What are my responsibilities? Having a good time. I'm like, yeah. That's the only responsibility. The only weekend. responsibility is for you to get absolutely obliterated. And well, that's it. I can handle that. Yeah. Absolutely obliterated. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, he's gonna walk around. He's gonna have a suit on. And he's shaking. So how are we doing over here? You guys hitting them straight? You guys having fun? You know it's a lot. E- you know it's a lot easier to play from the fairway than the trees, guys. Why don't you just hit it in the fairway? Why don't you let Dad show you how to poke it out there? Really appreciate you guys showing up. Yeah, yeah. right. Yep. And then he rolls up his sleeves yeah. to show that he works hard as a politician. Yeah. And then he hits one down the middle. Make sure he gets the uh, Maybe off. I loosen the tie up a little. Yes. <laughs> um, and then your campaign manager comes up and say, you got to go to the next group. And then they're like, <laughs> then he's off. He's got my vote. What a yeah. bachelor. Been a pleasure, guys. Yeah. Handing out business cards and pens and shit. <sighs> um, I'm going to, all I know is I'm going to be throwing out a lot of this this weekend. Um, looking at the bachelor and being like, 
Dead Man Walking. That's a good one. <laughs> Joke always plays. Uh, when we were in the Ozarks, <laughs> you said that no less than 25 <laughs> well, times. Yeah, there's, t- there's 25 bachelor parties, yep. and every single one that I saw, and they're like, yeah, we're here in a bachelor party. I go, where's the bachelor? I don't know, but dead man walking. <laughs> I like, wouldn't right? even be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was your successful percentage with that joke? Uh, 100%. I would say I got to laugh about a quarter of the time. Because it's coming from baseball. him, though, it's 100 going to be 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those guys could have heard that 15 times before that. It's going to be funnier. Yeah, you thought I was pretty funny on that park bench, Ryan. So <laughs> I did. Yeah. yeah, that was a great time. That was an old park bench. That was kind of a mini bachelor party in itself. Are you sad? I'm not going to be there, Ryan. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know because we're golfing, you know, tempers. Could that's be maybe that's maybe good that I'm not going to be there for golf. Yeah, but uh, we can find a park bench somewhere. at that I know, party. Ryan, I know. you're kind of the odd man out. I don't know anybody. <laughs> yeah. And then, AKA, you're the guy that they didn't really want to invite, I'm the but they kind of felt like they had to. You know, the place was a little too expensive. We need one more guy to chip in. It's like, yeah, hey, you know, t shirt guy. <laughs> you can sleep on the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or the couch. Hey, better one pillow, air, no blanket. Better bring an air bed, but don't bring a queen one. Just bring a twin. We don't got enough room <laughs> yeah, for a no, queen. I'll, I'll be in like the middle of the kitchen. It's, it's the a, only open spot for an air bed. It's no, a two it, room cabin. Do a tent. That would be elite. Yeah. Air bed in a tent. Do that. When's the last time you slept in a tent? <laughs> Good question. Because for me, it's been at least 15 years. Like, literally when I was eight and we were like, thought it would be fun to sleep in a tent in the backyard. Backyard. Yep. Dude, tenting in the backyard is way better than tenting on a camping trip. Correct. It's and way better. Yes. I've actually never done it, but I imagine it's also infinitely better than camping at a music festival. Yeah, I've tented at a music festival before. That's tough. Yeah, yeah not not for me. Yeah, I'd That's rather really go to Fire Fest and do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they give you a tent there. I know. FEMA tent. They give you a, yeah, a yeah. shanty. Yeah, bubble. Really. What are you looking forward to most, Miles? What's your favorite part about bachelor parties? I think the best part about, ba- well, I mean, there's lots of good stuff. But I think I'm most for looking for, because I don't really know many of these guys I'm Same. going to. Yeah. Like, I know a few of them. So... I'm looking to create as many bits that when they leave that bachelor party, they're going home and they're saying the random shit that I said to like their girlfriends and yes. friends and all that back home. Yep. That's what I'm looking forward Spreading to. Spreading the good word. Just coming up with random shit <laughs> just, just for no reason. He's going to be just sitting like staring at a wall in the corner like, Miles, what are you doing? I'm trying, I'm trying to, to come bits. up with yeah. bits. Uh, you got to show up first thing and be like, God. I'm a little tired. The jet lag's kicking my ass right now. Yeah, uh, you got to do, uh, probably on Friday, do, uh, yeah, I wonder what the poor people are doing today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll land. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely test vibes right away. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Maybe you'll get political right away. Just see what the vibe is at the party. That's always fun, <laughs> right? dive into it. <laughs> Politics. Yeah. yeah, get right into what it. What are you guys voting for in 24? <laughs> Why wait? Why wait? Yeah. Let's get right into it. Set so, the tone early, I think, is what they call that. Yep. Yes. yes. Um, Why do beers go down so easy, like, in the morning at bachelor parties? I don't know. It's a different type of taste. Yeah. I think that day one, it's like, there's day one of a bachelor party, the beers don't go down much easier than that. Correct. Because the hype is still there. Day two, you, like, have, like, five beers, and you're like, I might need something a little harder to get me going here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you switch the over to the old... Uh, Screwdrivers in the morning. Yeah. Or Bloody like Mary, Tyler. Mm, yeah, I'm no. not a big Bloody Mary guy. Thank you, Miles. Oh. I, uh, I'm not I'm not into that. I would much <laughs> rather do a, uh, like, a screwdriver or a mimosa. You like mimosa? Mo- uh, do you ever do screwmosas? It's just vodka. And uh, I do champagne. actually do an orange vod juice. An orange vod juice. <laughs> yes. Uh, nice. I just thought of that right, right now. now. It's actually where you take orange juice and mix it with vodka. So, <laughs> yep. yes. Black OJ. Yeah. Right when get it. No. The juice is loose. Yep. They bring up a great discussion on OJ. <laughs> That's good. Day, right away. Might be a good way to break every, the ice. Every time you, you pour a vodka o- OJ, you got to say, the juice is loose. That's yes. a good bit. Oh, yeah, there I we should, go. Hey, I should bring in the Margaritaville machine and make, yeah. make icebergs where it's uh, half bush light and half margarita that floats on the top. And then every single time you just yell, Iceberg dead ahead! <laughs> every single time That's you have a good one. one. Yeah. Yep. I can get yep. that would be a great bit to get going. Get the guys going. Party. You gotta write these down. Margarita is a real callback for the OG, you bet your radio fans. Yep. <laughs> yes. And also the guy that I'm going with. 
he, I told him I was bringing the big cooler. He's like, we should have a nickname for it. We should call it the Titanic. It's literally what he said. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Ah, it looks like we're going for a real Titanic theme. Yeah. On this bachelor party. And if, and if like anything that. describes marriage, it's the Titanic. Yeah. yeah yep. On second thought, maybe we should stay away from a boat this weekend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it would be electric if I was saying that all weekend. And then like the Saturday evening safe. starts sinking. And then I just yell, <laughs> Ice bag dead ahead. <laughs> Could be perfect timing as it yeah, crashes into it. a boulder. <laughs> yeah. How long? How long do you? Tr- <laughs> it's like the kid that can't swim is just drowning. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, there's just a random door floating that yeah. everyone tries to get on. <laughs> DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah. <He's Jack>. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll go with that. <laughs> How long are you gonna try a bit out until you're like, all right, that's just not him? Well, that's the thing. I'll commit. <laughs> okay, okay. You have to. Yeah, I'll commit to something like that. But uh <laughs> no, I actually learned that iceberg dead ahead thing from my cousin. So shout out to the cousin on cousin. the iceberg dead ahead. You coming to the bachelor party? You don't know him. Huh? <laughs> They're coming to the bachelor party? Nope. Nope. It's just uh just me and the uh, we, maybe we should hire a violin quartet for this too. <laughs> what? Yeah, Titanic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, will keep, you keep everyone calm. Will you keep playing. Yeah. Uh, you got to get them their own boat though. They follow behind. Yes. And then so when you guys are sinking, they're really keeping you calm. Yep. Um. Yeah. <laughs> like Titanic jokes. Take yeah. A lot. And then as it's going down, um, we can tell the bachelor. Well, looks like this is a, a little foreshadowing for what the marriage is going to be like. No, you can look him in the eyes and actually mean it when you say dead man walking. Dead man walking. <laughs> well, looks like you're going down with a ship, buddy. <laughs> the thing I love about bachelor parties is you you go with people that you don't know, and then you see them at the wedding, and the only thing you have in common <laughs> with them is the bachelor party. And it's like you always kind of like... You kind of like, you know, at first, like, oh, how you been, man? Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah, good to see you, blah, blah, blah. And then you have a couple couple beers, a couple drinks, and all of a sudden you're like kind of like doing one of these to each other, like yep. laughing and mm-hmm. thinking about all the, the shit that you guys did on the bachelor party. Yeah. And uh, there's always one guy that does something more stupid than anyone else, yep. right? Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And then just running that into the ground as well and yeah. that's all you talk about with the other people that were at the party and that's all you talk about to that specific person correct yeah but you a- set talk about it in very different ways yes i'm hoping i think a good a good measure of a bachelor party is the person who does the stupidest thing is the guy who's the bachelor so that's what i'm yes. looking to do. yeah i think that's how it's supposed are you to gonna go. do some stupid shit yeah. tyler I'm not and tis like not planning to, but I I'm think, sure I will. I think yeah. you two should wrestle. Oh, I have been informed that Tyler likes to wrestle when he hey. gets a little drunk. From who? It's funny, it's who funny you say that. Because <laughs> for some reason this morning when I was in my office, I thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought uh, about possibly wrestling. Well, you got to watch out. Apparently, Tyler likes to whip out a headbutt once in a while. Oh. Yes, so, I did. You talking that to Connor? Also. I uh, <laughs> I don't know. I got I got inside sources here. No, Tyler. I was there when when said person I, had mentioned. I that. think it's a great move. The crown of your head, your forehead here, is the hardest part of your whole body. It's way correct. harder than somebody's nose. Cranium. <laughs> True. True. So. Maybe maybe show up with some with a with a helmet. I'll bring a couple singlets and some headgear. No shirts, tarps off, baby. Tarps oh. off. Yeah, yeah, just real nice and sweaty. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do oil. one minute periods though, with a, a minute break in between, so I can catch my wind. You are not making it a minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to make it past thirty seconds. Hey, yeah, you're it. solid. Just like when he's in the bedroom. Ooh, hey, Tyler. Uh, yeah, minutes all I need. Well, eight second ride. So is the fiance <laughs> having, rider? Is she yeah. having the bachelorette party the same weekend? No. Okay, so how many? Are you going to have to receive any calls from her? Is she going to call you? Oh, I'm turning my phone off. Okay, good. Smart. Uh, good. Except to uh, take Miles's weekend at Bernie's FaceTime call. <laughs> yeah, he'll call well, you. you'll have a burner phone for yeah, that. Yeah, yes. yep. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, you got to send me Snapchats of him doing oh, I idiotic dumb things. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Post Dude, it is the dumbest ball. shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the breakfast ball story is off limits. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we can only I'm going to need golfing. to confiscate your guys' Instagram accounts <laughs> before golfing. this weekend. <laughs> we'll post something when we golf, but that's it. Yes. Give the people what they want. Right. They want to see you at your bachelor, bachelor party 
making a fool out of yourself. It'll happen. Uh, no, I'm being played politician. Oh, yeah. Course. Yeah. Did you invite Grandpa Dave? I sure did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Grandpa Dave can come for golf and lunch after, and that's it. He's got to go home. He's yeah. got to go. Smart guy. That. Before all the strippers come out. <laughs> ah, shit. <sure, laughs> ah. Nice. Um, the, only um, no, the question is not, did you order? Got, you guys order a stripper, but how many? Uh, we hired ah. one in-house, uh, Lane Hallock. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell that yeah. would be quite the sweaty stripper. <laughs> <laughs> quite the sight to see. Yes. Uh, no, I think I think the the stripper thing is on the way out. I don't. For I've bachelor been, parties. I've I, never been to one with a stripper ever. Yeah. Same. Me either. I think it's yeah. uh, not in house. Ryan, what were you like at your bachelor party? Miles, you were there, right? Well, so you had a joint one, right? Yep. Um, Twenty some guys. So with you, you had another uh, body yeah, getting cause, married. Because yep. remember that Ryan had coal vest men. Yep. You remember oh, that? Yeah, Couldn't yeah. decide. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just flip a coin, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, Jared. <laughs> yeah, I, you you could have at least like had him like play a game of pig or something for it. Rock, like, paper, scissors. Well, yeah, rock, paper, scissors. three out of five. Yes. <laughs> um, well, I don't even. Oh, the uh, the other guy whose wedding bachelor party was too. He got more drunk and degenerate than you, so he kind of stole the show. He got loose on the getting loose mm. type of. Thing. Which is fine. I don't need to be center stage. Yeah, I don't think that's your personality. No, um, depends on the setting, I guess. Yeah, you kept all your clothes on. I think I did in yeah. the appropriate setting, so that was good. Yep. Other guy did not. No. Um. It's okay though, because you couldn't really see much. So, no. hey. Hey, hey, that hey. time of day. Um, yeah, hoping that all clothes stay on, mm. um, but probably not. What's the best is we only have like an hour and a half to two hour drive back. Yeah, oh, that is. We nice. made an eight hour drive back from mine, and it was miserable. That was Shit. terrible. That's miserable. Tough. I will if, if Ryan at your second wedding, <laughs> and we do it again in Deadwood. I'm gonna charter a flight. I don't care what it to, what it yeah. costs. And just fly to Rapid. Yep, fly in. Maybe swing through Sturgis on the way there. <laughs> you got Waldrug right there. A yeah, Waldrug. Wall oh, Fuck yes. Maybe you could do a uh, little collab with Waldrug. They'll fly out. Yes. My next bachelor party is gonna be at Waldrug. Jesus. <laughs> Tyler, no, I'll draw fucks. No, it's absolutely don't, not. Don't write checks you can't cash here, Tyler. <laughs> I'll do it. There's no way you could pull off having your bachelor party at Wall. They have bars there. I don't know. And hotels. No drugs, though. And coffee for a dollar and free donuts. <laughs> and free Actually, smells. Bad deal. Make it cheaper on everyone. <laughs> free ice water as well. Wow. Yeah. Well, That's where you get your ice. Free memories, too. Oh, God. Is he still talking about Wall Drug? Oh, there's so many signs I can quote. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never been. I'm, a, I'm still working on that deal with wall drug to get my face on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hundreds of thousands of dollars of marketing dollars. I'd have to throw at that. I think Yeah, think of the, the miles you'd be from wall drug. Mm -hmm. You'd be miles and miles away. Hey. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Maybe lead with some different bits this weekend. <laughs> Let's get all those ones out of the system. Right, Just because it's it? coming from me. No. When, you meet, when, you, when you meet all of my friends that you've never met before, what is your icebreaker going to be? Yeah, here we go. Don't don't try. Because you've met a couple, but not hey, most. MMA is not <laughs> an icebreaker. If they're from Frazee, start with that. Okay, perfect. So they're MMA fans. So I'm already knowing. I'm already learning more than I. Hey, Ryan just like walks up to someone. He's like. Psh, psh. Oh yeah, I'm just thinking about my one, two, three, eight combo. Uh, oh, are you MMA guy? Maybe try that. Yeah. Hey man, what's up, Ryan? T-shirt guy. Uh, Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley tomorrow. You watching? Oh, we should get that. It's on Sunday. Oh, yeah, we'll get the UFC fights on Saturday. Though okay. I'll make sure we sit everyone down and watch them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not it sounds like a blast, <laughs> yeah. man. If I yeah. Get everyone on the couches. I'll even pull my air mattress out. We can lay on. Perfect. There. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, but I think the move for you is you got to talk shit about me, right? That's it. Yes. You got to make fun yes. of me. Because you are the common denominator yes. in that situation. Uh, maybe you guys could do a roast. Yeah. Roast that would yeah. be funny. Except I don't have very funny friends. Oh, I'm not. I like old. to hang out with people that aren't funny. So I'm the you funniest know the old one. the saying, if you're the funniest guy in your friend group, you need a new friend group. Yeah. So. <laughs> Kind of like the gym and if too. Tyler's the funniest guy in the friend group. Nah, you've never seen Crickets. me out oh, in public. Ugh. 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 Tyler, are you the type of guy 
where it's hard, like if we're at a bar late at night, are you hard to get into like an Uber or a car to get back to the place? No, he no. literally sneaks out I of there. Used like, to be. Oh yeah, your Irish goodbye. I forgot that. Yeah. yeah. Well, different circumstances. A bachelor party. Handcuff yourself to him so you can't go home early. I'm, I'm going to be the guy. If it's difficult Wait. for me to get into the car, it's going to be because I'm passed out. Gotcha. I'll throw you on my shoulder. Yeah. You know? yeah. And then I'll headbutt you. That would be weekend <laughs> at Bernie's. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Circle. I remember that. That scene. <laughs> it's the whole movie. It's Throwing the whole the movie. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you go to a bar on the lake, and then uh, you throw them on your shoulder. You go out, you hop on the door, and you paddle on home. Perfect. <laughs> throw them on the paddle board. Just, just, just push set me sail. towards the cabin. Yep. I'll get there eventually. You'll make it there. Yeah. Or Easy. we could tie a rope to the paddle board. Drag me behind. Drag it. You gotta strap, no. strap me to the board. So then we drive back to the cabin <laughs> and just and just yank you in from half a mile. Yeah, away. you gotta ratchet strap me to the board though, so I don't fall Correct. off. No, like a gurney. Or yeah. or you blow up the air mattress that Ryan's bringing. <laughs> yes. You put it right on shore, and as he's passing out, you guys just lay him down on there, hook yep. it up to the pontoon. Then and when it's time to go, you don't even have to wake him up or move him. Right. You just drive off, and it pulls him there. And then once he gets up there, you just pull him up into the lawn. Don't even have to lift them. Perfect. You just sleep right there. Yeah. And then I'll take your bed. I think you should actually bring Yes. Air now you got a bed. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> you need that, you need that, air, you need that air mattress. Yeah. Think if you, what would you do if you woke up in the morning <laughs> in the middle of a lake on an air mattress? Uh, which <laughs> morning? Parent I, trap. That's what happened on parent yeah. trap. You remember that? Lohan sisters. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the stepmom ended up on a oh, yeah. thing. Did what you should never do when you're on air mattress in the middle of the lake and panic. Correct. And start running on it and fall in. <laughs> yeah, Look not, like an infomercial. Great. Yep. Do you, <laughs> do you hate waking up in the morning on an air mattress in the middle of a lake? Do you hate how hard it is to walk around on it? We got something for you. Try sleeping on the the on land. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. God. Okay, All right. Trap. Well, um, don't die. I'll try not to. I'll make sure um, he doesn't. Oh, the other thing I'm going to try and keep in my back pocket is just a good a good toast. A mm. good uh, cheersing one-liner or something. Have you moved on from the bread one yet? Do you uh, have a new one? I, well, when I panic and I'm too drunk <laughs> and I don't remember longer ones, absolutely, it's my go-to. So what is the other go-to if you're not too drunk? Um, Not appropriate no. for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Only, hey, what happens at the bachelor party stays at the bachelor uh, party. What, uh, what happens on the Titanic stays on the Titanic. Dude, this uh, iceberg dead ahead. Bro, these bachelor parties are not ready for us. <laughs> uh, can't uh, handle us. Could be a movie. Dude, this place has never <laughs> seen fucking twelve guys be on a bachelor movie. party before. Fuck no, dude. Uh, hope call the bar. Make sure they stock up triple. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many Chuck Norai we're gonna do this weekend? <laughs> Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> the the uh maybe I'll have to bring a total gym too get a pump before the bar. <laughs> Speaking of Chuck Norris, a couple Bruce Lee uh Bruce Lee Bruce Lee's. I know you will. You'll probably do a Conor McGregor and walk into the bar with your yeah. arms flailing. Right, we got a bottle of proper down in the bar. Oh god. Your beer. I have to bring we gotta shut this down before he gets Saturday too night over there. All right, guys, before these fights start, <laughs> I'm gonna make a toast. <laughs> also, gonna need five dollars for this uh, pay per view. Yeah, if you're gonna, <laughs> yeah, everyone wanna, chip in, please. Ryan buys it without it's anyone saying though. they want to watch it. Oh. Okay, if you guys could chip in for the pay per view, yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> they don't even agree to watch it. He's on <laughs> well, the boat and he's watching it on his phone. And he gives like people get <laughs> fuck, man. Someone started to glance over my shoulder, like, "Hey, pay up, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. That was at least a dollar worth of viewership you just had. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll have the fights on. That. Everyone loves that guy. The guy who always keeps score of how many beers. I'm going to do that. I mean, I'm going to have like a clicker like a umpire has. Yeah. yeah. You know, and just make, hey, yeah, you took, you've taken three beers now. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, do you have the buddy that claims to black out? And then as he talks about it, he's like, oh, yeah, I had this exact amount of beers. Yeah. You don't know how many beers you had. Right. You said You're you blacked, blacked out. out. Which one is it? Yeah. Did you drink 20 beers exactly or did you black out? And Can't it's be usually both. the guy who never actually finishes a beer. He just correct. He just sets it down, forgets where it is, and then Wo grabs another yeah. one. Wounded soldiers. Yeah. So. No He's, one left behind. Not this guy. <sighs> Probably, I don't know, 85 beers a day. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that, I think. Yeah. It's usually that's what accurate. I average at an event yeah. like this. That's like eighty. That's like eighty one, eighty two. Yeah. I'm already. I'm. I'm priming the pump. Mm -hmm. So, good to go. 
All right. Well, uh, well, I guess we'll have the post bachelor party summary on the next podcast. So, yeah. uh, you have to update us on what toast you end up going with. Yes, I will. If you uh, remember it. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've, I think you're going to be the wild card at this bachelor I party. I don't know. He might Especially be. being like you don't know a ton of people. You know the groom, obviously. You might know a couple others. When he gets to the bar, he gets wild. Yep. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. He gets <laughs> Not me. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What? He gets wild. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 oh miles i have a good a bit idea for you so the next morning like everyone's eating butter toast and say i'd like to propose a toast yeah, yeah there you go that's a good Ooh, that's here's a good to bread idea. for without bread there is no toast yeah that's good nice. all right cheers guys <laughs> guys before we get in the next segment we want to talk to you about holiday gas stations we couldn't be bigger holiday gas stations guys here Ryan's drinking coffee right now. Look at that. Mm. Oh, God. How easy does that coffee go down? Yeah, it's hot, too. Um, You got to, you got to, what do you think the right amount of temperature to uh, to drink it is? 102. Ooh. Like a hot tub. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan's drinking hot tub water coffee. Yeah. I can't argue with that because I've never put a thermometer in there, but. I can guarantee you that Holiday will have the appropriate temperature hot, co- hot coffee for you. <laughs> so uh, again, you gotta look for the blue lights. That's the big. That's the big thing. You see a little blue light on the corner, you uh, um, you know you're in the right spot. Grab some hot coffee, gasoline, uh, get a car wash, um, snacks, the whole shebang. It's all um, there. I actually at Holiday had a hot coffee, and then they had a cake donut. Oh gosh! Just one of those in there. Don't even get me started. One down. Was a uh, glazed old fashioned. Oh, it went, oh, down. Man. It went down. So day old easy. or new? Oh yeah, day of. Day, day of. of. Nice. <laughs> um, Fresh little baby donut. Yep. So if you just want the simple pleasure in life of dipping a old cake donut, old fashioned cake donut in a in a coffee, you gotta head to Holiday Gas Stations. Get yourself a cup of Joe, and uh, you're gonna have a great day. Yeah. Um. So. Head to holiday gas stations. You'll uh, you won't be disappointed. Get that. Uh, what what was the temperature? I was trying to think. One hundred two. One hundred and two <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. Hard to remember. Yeah, is it Celsius Perfect. or Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Celsius. That'd be bad news. <laughs> yeah. Isn't a hundred boiling? The, yeah. The, the, are you eating like a that. fucking corn wow. right now? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, we're trying to do a podcast. Well, okay, so. Basically, what happened is I didn't eat lunch, Tyler, so I'm eating corn nuts. When do you eat lunch? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm hungry right now. So, and by the way, people are sleeping on corn nuts. Regular or ranch? Well, I actually have never tried the ranch ones. So They're bomb. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, I got Underrated. You. So, what yeah. happened was I was at the you uh-huh. know, gas station this weekend. <laughs> Don't give me that. There's nothing wrong with corn nuts. No, you skip lunch and decide, like, I think I'll just eat a bag of corn wow. nuts okay. on the there's podcast. A, okay, there's nothing wrong with corn nuts. There is something wrong with eating corn nuts into the mic. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> yes, what do you there mean? we go. <laughs> Sounds the same God, sound loudness good. to me. Is it, is it bad in the headphones? Can I have one? Jared, what are the levels like right now? Pretty yeah, high. Those Very hot. Down, um, like yeah, hot let me tub. hear it. Let me hear the corn nuts in the... One on each side. Three, give me two. two, one. Corn nut. <laughs> that is loud. Okay. This is ASMR. Sounds um, very good. What's wrong with corn nuts? You're giving me, he's been giving me a look all day. I can feel it. He's got pent up anger against corn nuts. You and your, <laughs> what's wrong with them? Eat corn nuts all the time, just not on the podcast. Okay. Unless you pick um, a lunch. quieter snack for it the It also pod. is 5 30 p.m. No. So what ended up happening here? <laughs> so is this supper too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I was at the gas station this weekend. I forgot, honestly, forgot about corn nuts. Like, I mm-hmm. feel like most people have forgotten that corn nuts exist, including myself until the I didn't crunch. Want, I didn't want anything too crazy. You know, like, there's way too much flavor on snacks these days. Yep. Just give me something mild. And uh, so I grabbed a bag of corn nuts. <laughs> And then you will not believe this. I then, after I ate that bag yesterday, went back for more. <laughs> and because you, well, that's what happens. You eat one snack you forget about, and then you eat it straight for a month, mm. you know? So when you went back, it never crossed your mind, like, I should try a different flavor? Uh, why mess with... <laughs> why fix something that's ranch, not broken? I got to try, but 
I don't know. I what just, are the I'm other flavors guy. even? Well, like I only know of ranch. Uh, okay. It's corn. Um, there's nuts. corn. There's uh, nuts flavor. Oh, okay. Nuts flavored. Yep. Ryan knows all about out. that. Miles been counting. He's been mm. counting his macro, macros lately, and today it's a glazed old fashioned donut <laughs> and corn <laughs> nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. We should do a day, day of eating with my, Miles. You bet you guy. I think he'd be right. Day in old one. old fashioned and a bag of corn nuts. Uh, day of day and of eighty seven beers. They go great with beers. Though. They do. That's correct. So so why? Why aren't more bars putting corn nuts out instead of peanuts or popcorn? I was just going to say that, yeah. Probably uh, because then it would like uh, more so overshadow the music that's playing. Well, <laughs> everyone eating corn nuts. No one would be able to have a conversation in the no. bar. <laughs> You're going to hear anybody. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> corn nuts are good and I hate you. Um, but the one downside, though, is the people do talk about how bad your breath smells after. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I don't know really? what you mean. <laughs> That's a thing. Yes. Apparently. Definitely. No shit. I don't know. I'm not making out with me, so I don't know. But give yourself a little breath check. Yeah, do it. Right. Yeah, it smells like nuts. We'll <laughs> 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 just we'll let that one marinate. I know. <laughs> you think I should show up to a bachelor party with <laughs> a bag of corn? No, nuts? not one bag. Like, a one lot. for everyone. It's like a party favor. <laughs> yeah. Well, Everyone's just sitting on the couch, just literally just all crunching at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's talking because they're afraid to smell each other's breaths. Yeah. It's like on uh, Christmas vacation when, uh, why do I keep eating them? On this thing? <laughs> I can't talk. Um, it's on Christmas va- uh, vacation when they burn the turkey and they're all trying to like crunch on it. It's oh, like yeah. so dry that it's like. <laughs> he like dips it in water. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I won't eat anymore. Sorry. Tyler's well, going to gotta make me in a chokehold. <laughs> we got to eat lunch. Yeah. I do need to practice eating lunch. Correct. Um, but yeah. Tastes good. I don't know. Bring some for the rest I, of us next time, would you? Usually. No. And it, what's funny is usually Tyler's like the old man snack guy. Yeah. And here I am. No. Circus peanuts. Dude, Who circus pe- peanuts. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my God, Tyler. They circus are very good. peanuts. Thank you. Really? They're circus good. Peanuts. Are you a circus peanuts guy? I'll eat them. I don't know. Ugh. I don't know. Remember the last time I had one? You should have some. I don't try I'll eat you forgot about corn nuts. Maybe you Not forgot about circus list. peanuts. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, they do get overshadowed. Yeah. C- corn nuts? Yeah. You forgot about them too, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Everyone's sleeping on corn nuts. Huh. Bad breath. Maybe one of the most underrated snacks ever. <laughs> oh. Bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> that is an uh, 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 iceberg level take. What? Wow. Yeah. Corn nuts dead ahead. <laughs> All right. Say that next time you go on a holiday. Yeah. See what they do. Yeah. Walking out with a whole arm full of Just them. Buy them out. Yeah. We got to get those in the snack cupboard, by the way. We yeah. Get, oh, they they have them on. at holiday, I believe. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Of course so, they do. Perfect. They have yeah. everything. And they have 102 temp coffee. <laughs> Hot tub coffee and some corn nuts. Corn nuts, old fashioned coffee. cake donut, and hey, 102 coffee. No matter how this podcast goes down, you want to maybe go soak in the hot tub with some corn nuts and a corn nice nuts and cup a coffee. Of Joe. Yeah. <laughs> corn nuts and coffee. Hey, a little CNC, corn nuts, coffee. That sounds like <laughs> maybe we should start a, a, a podcast we do every morning. It's just called Corn Nuts and Coffee. <laughs> I actually don't mind that. Uh, uh, but yeah. it's just crunching and sipping the whole so time. Which, yeah. which breath is worse, corn nuts breath or coffee breath? Coffee That's breath on a t-shirt is tough. Because theirs is so aggressive because yes. all they do is drink coffee or Diet Coke. Correct. Does Diet Coke have a bad breath? No, no I would I say no. So. no. No. It's a stigma. Because there's yeah. nothing in Diet Coke except 40 milligrams of sodium. That's all it is. Really? Yeah, there's mm-hmm. nothing else. Huh. A little bit of aspartame too, I've Zeros heard. Zeros across the board. Yeah. Aspartame. <laughs> Weird how they get that flavor. Straight chalk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, no, teachers, that was the worst. Oh, yeah. They'd, re- they'd kneel down next to your desk trying yeah. to help you, and you're like, okay, can you not? <laughs> well, uh, and yeah, I now get, yeah. literally the only reason why in the future to still do virtual learning is so that you don't have to smell the teacher's coffee no, breath. This yeah. Cornuts thing is actually a good time. We're going, it's back to school season right now. Yeah. Kids that are listening to this podcast, if you somehow your parents let you listen to this <laughs> podcast, <laughs> eat some corn nuts to combat your teacher's mm, coffee yes. breath. And it's bad a breath fight. Do back breaths. up a little bit. Yeah. Back up, lady. Yeah. yeah. Just <gasps> also, take your breath if you want to annoy all your classmates, you can just crunch, <laughs> crunch, crunch away. Yeah. Uh, but make sure if you bring a snack, you bring enough for everybody. That is true. It's the rule. Uh, yeah. You I got buy my one bag, buy all. Mm-hmm. I got my shit taken away when I was younger because I didn't bring enough for the class. Really? Actually, yeah. 
Jesus, what? they run a tight ship down there. I know. I was like, hmm? Well, survival of the fittest. I'm not sharing with you. Yeah. <laughs> also, how fucked is it that in school, <laughs> on your birthday, you got to bring everyone snacks? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, everyone should bring you a snack on your birthday. Right. Yeah. I and suppose. They, yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, I, there's going to come a day and time where you have to make snacks for your God. kid's class. <laughs> Dude, I had to do a Valentine's Day Valentine. box. <laughs> Valentine's Day box. Really? Yeah. He you was, had fun with he that. He was though. literally like, still I know. Had, I know. It was he, daycare's he's, rules. He still had like goo on him at that point. Seriously. He was still I, he couldn't, like, he all, couldn't walk at that had point. Had you like cut the umbilical cord at that point? <laughs> no, he, was, he was still dragging it around. I tied it to his Valentine's Day box. He's just gnawing on it for a little snack. <laughs> it's a lot like a, of nutrients in there. Yeah, it's like a nerd rope. Yeah. His, his stroller for the day was <laughs> his say Valentine's nerd rope? Day box. Yeah. Yeah, save money on one of those like uh, the, the kid leashes that they put her on, like a backpack. Mm hmm. Keep the umbilical cord on. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't dry out. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. Well, then you have to pull them from the front. You have to be in the front pulling them versus... Hey, what's worse, corn nuts breath or umbilical cord breath? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know the latter. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, Valentine's Day boxes stink. <laughs> Damn, they're tough. <laughs> I only made one cool Valentine's Day box ever. And it was like it was it was a basketball hoop basically. So you throw your Valentine in the hoop and it'd fall down. Oh, that's the a box. good idea. But yeah. if kids miss, do they still get to put one in? No, they have to give you two. Oh. Smart, yeah, extra. Yeah. Or you just say and one, and then they have to give you another one. <laughs> and one. <Yeah>. Entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I made a uh, <laughs> running scheme since I came out of the womb, baby. <laughs> yeah, I sold my umbilical cord on eBay for like fifteen bucks. <laughs> They probably sell for a little bit of money. Kind of like breast milk. That shit sells for... Dude, <laughs> bodybuilders will pay top dollar for that shit. I yeah. tried to sell it, and the fiance was like, absolutely not. You tried not. to sell it? I pitched it, and she's like, no, fuck I off. It. Oh, okay, it's so like you didn't try meeting. and no, sell it. No, I didn't it. list it anywhere, but I I brought the idea up. She's like, fuck off. You dude. had the ad ready to go. Yes. Becca, okay. I would like... <laughs> $100,000 for 15% equity in your breast milk business. <laughs> yeah, they'll pay top dollar for that. Yeah. A lot of nutrients. <laughs> Something to think about. Yeah. This may be reason a, to have more I, kids. Just a question that needs to not be discussed. <laughs> but when do women stop producing breast milk? Because that's a concern for your business. Um, whenever they stop, they decide to stop breastfeeding. So if like you're pumping or breastfeeding, like it'll just keep going. Uh, Lucrative. Cue Game Pump of dump. Game of Thrones. Robin Aaron. She never stopped. Yeah, I that's why the kid was like, yeah, was. he was ten. Freaking, mm -hmm. yeah, smart. Fucking you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> like front tip. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, good to know. Good to yeah. know. You can easily run <laughs> run a breast milk business. So <laughs> yeah, what's worse? Corn nuts breath or breast milk breath? <laughs> Wouldn't know the latter. Would you, Tyler? The kids' breath don't smell that great, so maybe corn nuts. Oh, I suppose you just smell your son's breath. Yeah. Well, and you never brush your kid's teeth. <laughs> he didn't have teeth when he was breastfeeding, so oh. I was just gumming it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad Becca doesn't I, listen to this. I wonder if yours go down easy when you're just gumming it. <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah. That's why, hey, that's why people say, what do you need a nipple for that beard? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the that's bit. That's the real reason. I, okay. I yeah. now understand. Yeah. Dude, just imagine old guys though. They go full circle. If they don't have dentures, they're gumming their beers. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're right they're back. They're, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> right back there where they were 80 years ago. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Full circle. Getting their diapers <laughs> wow. changed and everything. Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, can you turn the camera all the way around, please, Jared? Camera um, one. So, Sir Yacht just turned oh, on. Oh, he's, no, he's leaving. 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 No. Joey. Tell him to come to the studio. Mind. I'll tell him to come to the studio. That kind of freaks me out yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Have him go on that camera. So, basically. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's coming in. He's coming. <laughs> we have found Waldo. All right, hop in the yeah. middle. We have, no, we're not shooting a podcast. We're just bullshit. We have found Waldo. Um, this is going to be your 20-second cameo. He's only doing this for more clout. Yes. <laughs> uh, just to, any reason to get on the podcast. Any reason to get on the podcast, he's saying. He does not have a microphone. Is that your new merch? He's just yelling into the abyss. This is my new merch, yes. This is his new, this is his new merch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you don't know what we're talking about, you got to go to at You Betcha Radio to see the uh, YouTube page. On the YouTube page. Yep. 
to see Sir Yacht in his Where's Waldo uniform. I'm not going to lie. That did freak me out it a is, little bit. It is. Un, it, it would have been worse if you would have been had a clown costume on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, next week, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Next week. New outfit right. every week. Uh, All right. He's out a, here. That's a great bit. You guys weren't talking about anybody like dying. No, we were actually talking drinking breast milk. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, what's what makes your breast smell worse, breast milk or corn nuts? Probably breast milk. Breast milk, he said. <laughs> See, corn nuts ain't that bad. I don't no. know what everyone's. I think it's more so the flavored flavored corn nuts. Yeah. You're good. I gotta get those ranch. Uh, can you imagine how I gotta get those ranch nuts in my mouth? Yeah. Just, can you imagine how bad garlic corn nuts would smell? Garlic? Yeah. I don't know. That sounds pretty good. I'm a big garlic guy. Parmesan too. garlic, maybe. Do they make those? They have original barbecue chili picante. Ooh, spicy ones. Ooh. Limon, uh, ranch. Yeah. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Nacho. nacho. Oh, that sounds like a lot. Yeah. Oh, also, they locked down the brand name Corn Nuts. Also, kind of like Kleenex. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Not really. Well, no, it'd be if their <laughs> brand was named Tissues. <laughs> Yeah, because corn nuts is literally just what it is. Yeah, it is a corn. Oh, true, yeah, true, true. Kleenex did the opposite. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay with us, Ryan. Gotcha. Um, can we talk nachos for a second? Okay. I love nachos. When, when did it start becoming that it's like uh trying to one up each other on nachos, chicken or beef? Who can who uh, both. Uh, both? Yeah, I'm a jinx. Fair. Yeah. We did that on Friday. Actually, we did uh, both. shredded beef or like the taco beef. I like taco beef. I think I like shredded. Yeah, well, I like taco. Shredded's better for a nacho, though. Yeah, it's um, better. Less sloppy. But yeah. it, when did it become that everyone's just trying to one up each other with bigger nachos? It's like you end up getting way too much. Mm-hmm. You have to literally get all. You got to wear rubber gloves. <laughs> yes, getting stuff out of there to even just get a chip. Yeah, yeah. and then the bottom chips are all soggy. Right, not crispy anymore. I think that a restaurant should go the opposite and only do chips, cheese, and just sprinkle a little bit of beef on yeah. there. Yeah. Or they, every single chip is crispy. Or here's what they should do. They should do toppings on one plate and chips in another basket. Just, yeah, like fajitas. So just yeah. cheesy so you chips. Dip. You just, just melt the cheese on the chips and you put the rest on. Correct. Or they put the cheese in a separate cup and then it's just chips and queso. Yes. <laughs> or you layer it like a lasagna. Yeah, yeah. The layering is is poor. Yeah, and you yes. actually have to cut it, and then you like get a little serving thing and put yep. it on yeah. your plate. Because honestly, they bring you out, they bring you out little plates for the nachos. But who's who's grabbing some and putting them on that? plate? I am really. Yeah, I'm, I'm not right pick, away. I'm just yeah, picking right, right away. You're picking the because yep. there's all the crispy ones around the edge, and yeah. then when you get the soggy ones, you need to put them on your plate and mm-hmm. dissect them a little bit. Yeah. Why <laughs> don't they do personal sized pizzas? Why don't they do personal sized Size nachos? nachos. <laughs> oh my god! Well, here's the thing: nachos is on the appetizer list, and it is not an appetizer. No, it's <laughs> a full, full meal. Full, you yeah. fill you up. I like personal sized nachos. Let's can we talk about that? What? Personalized pizzas, great, fine, right? Easy. But those are an appetizer. The big plate of nachos, even if everyone's eating off mm-hmm. of it for what the nacho industry has gotten to, yeah, it's a full meal for everyone. Yeah. We had half our nachos left last Friday. Yeah. And it was like, take them away. Well, that way you can customize it too, because you always got somebody that doesn't like jalapenos or doesn't like olives. Yeah. Your personal pan, pan of nachos can have whatever the hell you want on it. Shredded beef or taco beef. Yeah, you build, fucking choose. Build your own nachos. Uh, We should start a nacho bar. That would be sweet. <laughs> No I one's mean, ever done that. We should start a bar. What, what would be named? <laughs> um, if we go nacho cor- cheese. We go the corn nuts route and we call it nacho bar. <laughs> nacho bar. <laughs> I like that. Uh, 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 nacho Libre, great, great movie though. Jack Black. Yeah. I was waiting to see how long it would take someone to bring up Nacho Libre. And nacho. Then, and then I was going to go, Nacho. <laughs> so... It's good that we're all the same human. <laughs> uh, yeah, nachos, man. They just have gotten too big for their bridges, I think. Yeah. I think it's about time we start dialing back in the nacho game. Yeah, too many down. extras. Deconstructed nachos. Just give me Vic, give me a build your own. Build your own nacho. And even like uh, you can pick how many layers you want. Or, hey, I want a three. I want three yeah. layer nachos. Yeah. Here's the first layer. Here's the second layer. Here's the third oh, layer. Oh, like uh, or yep. we stop making small chips and we make one giant chip. They put all the stuff on it and then you get a little like 
little like hammer that you hit your knee with to like see if your <laughs> reflex are good and you hit the chip in the middle and it breaks it all apart and then everyone just grabs a bigger chip or like a bread bowl like, except nachos yeah or like, like a, well, a not, taco salad taco salad yeah. bowl you know yeah yeah a nacho bowl. Jeez. Well, nacho? Mate, time out are taco bowls just nachos upside down nachos they gotta be because oh. they come in the like the chip bowl yeah. And they put all the salad, the meats, yeah. the cheese. So you're better off ordering an, uh, a bowl, taco bowl taco bowl than, than you nachos. are nachos. I want a taco bowl with cheese layered on top, everything layered in it, and then another bowl put on top. So I have a nacho ball. Oh, you want a nacho ball. Nacho ball. I want ball. a nacho ball. Nacho. Whose, ball, whose ball is it? Nacho ball. <laughs> ah. I hated the way you said that. Hey, yeah, nacho it sounded ball. like you were talking to like a kid. <laughs> nacho ball. Oh, I knew Tyler would try and work his kid in uh, this. He did it in a heartbeat. Well, you guys talked about breast milk and umbilical cords. <laughs> I didn't bring that up. True. <laughs> True. We'll give you a pass. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had nachos this weekend at the old uh, the old bar. Yeah. Chips uh, were gone. Joey, aka Sir Yacht. Played pull tabs for the first time. <laughs> Get a load of this. For the first time? For the first time. Do they not have pull tabs in, o- in Ohio, or I is he try. just an idiot? Did you hear the story behind this, Miles? No. I, you're missing... Oh, yes! You're missing the meat and Tell the story. Okay, so Joey wants to play pig wheel. Okay, he's uh-huh. never played pig wheel, but he's also never pulled pull tabs. God damn it. So <laughs> he thinks that the pull tabs are his way into pig wheel. Like a ticket? That's like his buy-in to pig wheel. Okay? So he buys 50 pull tabs and tries to give them to the guy running pig wheel. Oh, no. <laughs> and the guy's like, what the fuck? No, I, you, I, these are yours. He's like, oh, shit. So he starts pulling them. 200 bucks. Fuck that. Well, 200 bucks, and he thought that they were tickets for the pig wheel. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did, That's beginner's Were luck. you guys with him? Uh, a couple wasn't. other guys he were. Was, yeah. I was there at the end. Did no one explain to him the rules? I don't even think he bothered to ask. I think he, he had so much confidence going he up He was there. just, there was no other <laughs> option for these things that he bought. Yeah. <laughs> other than the fact it was just a ticket for the pig wheel. Were they there was like- no possible <laughs> other thing. He didn't look at it and go, eh, that's yeah. like a perforated thing. I don't know what's that all about. I don't know. <laughs> the machine they, wasn't close. They must rip it off and hand it back. Hey, give me the ticket yeah. stub after I do it. And they weren't they weren't the electronic pull tabs. They were in the they were in the 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 plastic jar. Were they the yeah. cardboard ones or were they the paper ones that you paper like ones trifolds trifolds. Okay, that, that makes, makes a little, a little more. bit more sense. Yeah, they were the trifolds. He thought he was Willy Wonka. He got the golden <laughs> ticket. He was walking up there and he was like, "Give me all you got for the pig wheel. I'm gonna win." The only thing He's that a would big be- pig wheel guy now, two hundred bucks. So he won on pig wheel or he no. won on pull tabs? He won on pull tabs. Oh. Well, that's still to be determined because I don't know what he used them for. <laughs> uh, he probably sold them. Yeah. He's like, you guys want some pig wheel tickets? He tried I'm to leaving. pay his tab with the pull tabs. He's like, I still don't know what these are for. <laughs> also, yeah. Yeah, the, the only thing that makes this better is if you guys knew what he was about to do and let it stop happen. Him. I know. I no, know. I'm not. I'm not a big uh, like. I like throwing twenty down on pull tabs, but I thought you guys were just going to do throw some money down on a pig wheel. I'm. I'm not. I'd they rather, were. No. No, I know. <laughs> but if I'd known you yes. guys were doing pull tabs, yes. I would have gave you money to get me in on it. Correct. But. <laughs> I didn't even know we were doing pull tabs. <laughs> Apparently, Joey had Joey it. didn't know he was doing no. pull tabs. <laughs> no, he didn't. Um, so, yeah. But I, Pig Wheel, I, I like to sit at the table and just hang out and drink beer. Yeah. I feel like it's very antisocial to go sit at a gambling table I, unless you're solely going there to do that. Correct. I only like going to Pig Wheel if all my buddies are going. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. So never like the solo guy playing Pig Wheel. Yeah, That's or depressing. blackjack or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, it's tough, depressing. But um, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that was. Uh, hey, welcome to Fargo, man. <laughs> it's what we do in Fargo. I remember my first time in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Uh, I was fourteen. Had my first shot. Do you remember your first legal time? Uh, yeah, we went out. So I don't know. Yeah, shotgun Sally's. I remember mine. R.I.P. That's where you went? Yeah. Is it not a bar anymore? <laughs> no. So we had Twin so. Peaks. Huh? Twin Peaks. I went to your brother's old place at one of one of the stops. Oh. I don't remember if it was first or not. Hell yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Doesn't like reminiscing about being 21. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
shit, dude. <sighs> good, well, good times. Uh, are you done with the corn nuts as lunch for nope. today? Oh, here we go. It's not done with the fucking corn nuts. Here we go. Welcome to corn nuts yes. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a video about that. <laughs> uh, you could use corn nuts for one of those. You see those pranks like the hey, come crack my neck for me or come crack my back. And they have like something crunchy in their mouth. Oh, yeah. And then when they crack it, one. you bite down. And so it sounds like you broke your back. All it's right, Ryan, get over here. I lay down on the table. <laughs> All right, you're laying down. <laughs> let me uh, let me try and get it ready. Three, two, one. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> secondary <laughs> all right there you go buddy <laughs> that crack was from him just trying to breathe again <laughs> and their listeners are dwindling talking about <laughs> cracking ryan's back i mean talk about the notoriety a chiropractor could get if you get those cracks out of someone yeah yeah you guys want to talk about the weather <laughs> it's been all right got some good rain it lately is, yeah we actually got a little thunderstorm last night we needed eh? it kind of nice yeah, big, frightening big rolling thunder good. i uh i i had my sprinkler set to go this morning and i heard it was raining out at like 4 a.m i'm like i'm not going to shut those off i'm staying right here in bed oh, man, double, bad, dose, right. double dose double yeah. dose <laughs> farmers really needed yeah. it yeah good for the farmers they got some rain Actually, I think the farmers are to the point where they it's, almost want no rain, yep. so then they, this complete loss, and then get the insurance money yeah. or whatever, right? Harvest Bad for the hay crop, too. though. No, if you're a farmer and I got that wrong, <laughs> don't quote me on that. That's <laughs> I don't know about that, and that's just my best guess. So You're okay. Um, little disclaimer there. I forgive you. You do? Yep. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Farmer. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to fucking sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like, you know, I just toss thunder. and turn all night just thinking, God, I hope Ryan... In good graces with Ryan. Hope he forgives me. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting that fact wrong. <laughs> I don't think we get that many facts wrong on this podcast. Uh, I definitely don't. I think uh, we're about 50-50. I definitely, that's not a good percentage. No. I've, I've definitely never gotten it. I think wrong. we get a lot of facts almost right. Right. Yeah. I don't think and we that's get... That's all that matters. Yeah. I think that that's what everyone does. Right. So. We, we get the gist of things. Yeah. We're, we're using big our, gist guys here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think we could be bigger gist guys a lot of gist in this podcast studio. <laughs> so much gist. Yeah. What is gist, by the way? Get the Can gist. Can we Google of it? what yeah. gist means? How do you spell it? J I S T. Yep. G I S T. I think. J J I S T. Gist or J is in Jerig. Oh, it is G. Wow. English minor. Gist means essence or the main point. In the legal context, gist is the grounds of legal action. Gist is a common misspelling of gist. So mm. most people do spell with a yeah. J, but it is a G. Tyler, that's why. That's dad intelligence Thank right you. there. Thank that's you. why when people Again, tell a story. Again, his kid into this. <laughs> he had to bring up that he's a dad. That's, um, I mean, that's the Yeah, so of there you go. You guys learned something. Uh, what did I already forgot what the definition is? Go up again. The essence of something. The uh, the main point. So like th that's the gist of it. That's hey, the it's spelt gist, but it's pronounced gist. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> To gist Thanks. something. He just said it's spelled gist, pronounced gist. <laughs> well, it's, spelled, it's, spelled it's spelled with a gist. G, but then they do the pronunciation uh, and it's with, with a J. With why a not just J. spell it with a J? That's, That's why the English language is... Absolutely. It, the gist of it is confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you used that right. It's I don't know if French. you got the full gist of that, but... <laughs> Jesus. You're a gist, they're a gist, everywhere yeah. a gist. Uh, is there a gist to this podcast? Uh, well, some podcasts we talk science, some we talk English, some we talk... Today we're educational. Pop culture. And snack related. Yeah. This yeah. is ACT prep for those seniors yeah. starting we school. We learned about breastfeeding mm -hmm. on this yep. podcast. Nachos. We learned about the nacho industry. Yep. We learned about... Sea nuts. Uh, yeah. We learned about <laughs> the, the birthing process of umbilical cords. <laughs> yep. Don't say this is came up with a lot of good ideas. We're gonna change the category on uh, on Apple Podcasts to educational. I think Ooh, we should. I, like I think we crush think an we education. You think we could crush it in the educational? Yeah. Yeah. I think is so. there a semi educational then, category? <laughs> is there one that just where is there a podcast category? It just says you, we kind of got the gist of educational. <laughs> Can we get into that category? We just named the podcast The Gist of It. Yes. Ooh, yeah. wow. That's actually, hey, time out. No one steal that. We're going to use that for a podcast uh, at some point. Copyright pending. Copy, we have patent pending right now. It's it's just the gist of it. All right, Ryan. <laughs> All right, too far. Sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. Yeah. Corn up and coffee. Tonight. 
102 coffee. coffee. Yeah. That's we've my, we've that's thought my, of a new pod, two new podcasts. Yeah. 102 coffee. Just the gist. Just the gist. Yeah. And spell them both with J's. With G's. Because <laughs> fuck G's. <laughs> fuck G's. <laughs> Honestly, fuck G's. I don't why, like, they, why don't G's just J's? Yeah. I hate writing G's. They just suck. Oh my um, God. Just yeah. do, you don't need the extra loop. Just go straight down. Yeah. Well, that's a Q. <laughs> <laughs> what? You don't need the loop at the bottom, you mean? The no, you don't need the loop at the top and oh, then like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you learned something today. Education. <laughs> you know that a Q is just a G, but the bottom is just backwards. Yes. Yeah. Yep. There you go. You learn something new mm-hmm. every day. <laughs> you know a J is also just an I, just with a little, little flare. A little extra, it's a little extra on the end. It's a fancy mm. I. It's a little, uh, little extra. A little extra. Mm. A little extra on gist on it. A little extra mm. on it. Wow. It's like a fish hook. Yeah. yeah. It's like a fish hook <laughs> with an eyeball. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Betcha Radio. Unless you guys got more to say. No, I think that was the gist no. of that. Yeah, I think we got that the was, gist. <laughs> yeah. I think our listeners got the gist of that one. So, guys, we're going to wrap up another episode of You Betcha Radio Podcast. Um, find us on Instagram at You Betcha Radio. We'll get a photo of Joey or something in his Where's Waldo yeah. episode or uh, outfit, mm-hmm. not episode. Um, and uh, so you guys can maybe get the gist of what we were looking at. When he interrupted, rudely interrupted the the podcast, might I add, um, just remember that nachos are getting a little big for their bridges and that corn nuts are always a good snack, especially with a few beers. And breast milk is very nutritional. Yeah. So may your ranch always, may your ranch corn nuts always be runny. Thank you. (laughs) May your coffee always be 102. Maybe I'll be other end. (laughs) (laughs) Your bush lattes forever be cold. Right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, Yeah. Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.